Hey everyone, it's Goddess Lily and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you detailed instructions of how I put my lace wig strap on. That's this clear plastic strap. I go back and forth. A lot of times I'll wear the black one. Uh, I don't have it handy. Oh yes I do. It's already, this one's been cut already. And this is one, you know, you just sew it in to the edges of it. And then sometimes I want to just, I want a more secure hold because with this, there's nothing to keep it just totally flat across. This keeps it flat, but to me it still slides back. The reason why I love the clear strap because it'll nestle right in front of my braid and my braid will keep it from slipping back. So the closer that I have my braid to the front, this strap just nestles right in front of it. So I just put the strap on. So following this video is a complete demonstration, but I want to show you what I didn't show you at the end, which is once you put your strap on, you know, the hairs kind of stick in the direction of the strap. You can still see the hairs laying down. So you're going to need to take your brush and just lift those hairs up. So it'll look like you have more of a full hairline. So just go along the whole, you know, front line of your wig and brush up the hairs because right now they're pretty stuck. Well, they're going to be... You want the pretty much the net, the lace. See how it's laying in the direction of the strap? And that's because I put pressure on it. It's been sitting all night under this headband. So now I'm ready to curl it and wear it. So before I do that, I just brush it up and um, what I want to show you that I didn't show you at the end of the video, let me just um, unloosen the straps a little bit, is that I sew the ends down. I just take a clear thread and I sew right here. And that's to keep it from lifting because the edges of the tape lift first. And if I don't do that, It'll start lifting in the week, but I don't change out my tape until I'm ready to wash my wig. So I just washed it. So this will be here for like three weeks. I don't wash, I wash this wig every three weeks. So uh, this is the final outcome of it. I mean, it's not super perfect, but it's on there and it will last up into three weeks, four weeks, five weeks until I'm ready to wash it then I'll take it off. It will not lift. And in the video, I show you exactly the process of how I do it. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. So the three things that you need is your lace wig strap, the double-sided wig tape of your choice. I always use Airflex. It's my favorite tape because it actually sticks to Swiss lace really good. Now, a lot of the stock wigs that you buy are made on a hard plastic lace. So any type of tape basically sticks to that. But Swiss lace is a fabric. So finding lace that really adheres to this fabric and sticks stay stuck to the fabric for at least two weeks without lifting is really hard to find. And the only tape that I have found to do that is this Airflex tape. And I just kept the label like this so you can see what it looks like. Now it's a little wider than the strap. <clears throat> so what I normally do after I put it on is I cut the excess off. So it's, it's quite wider than the strap, but um, I normally will cut the excess off or I'll just leave it on, but usually I'll cut it off. So I always put my strap on right after I wash my wig. And so it's norm right before I curl it and flat iron it. So while it's, it's normally just fresh, that way I can 
keep the hair back because once I put it on, I have to put my scarf on and I normally just will put it on the mannequin head when I'll show you all that at the end. So what I like to do first is <clears throat> just go ahead and put my wig on and I like to use scotch tape to tape the hairs back. You don't have to do this, but it's kind of just what I do. I need my mirror for this, so I'm going to look in my, my mirror. And you know, it doesn't really stick to the hair that good, but it to me it keeps all these flyaway hairs back. Okay. So that's kind of just what it looks like with the tape on. It's just keeping the hair out of the way. And I, I take time and do mine because I don't wash my wig a lot. I wash my wig like every two to three weeks. And once I put my strap on, I want it to stick for the full two to three weeks. So I take time and I just take my time and do it right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my strap on. Now I slide mine from the right to the left because I like to use my left hand because I'm left handed. So this is always the way that I'm going to put it on. Okay, so now I'm ready for my tape. And I am going to make sure that my tape is lined up right at the edge. So I really have to look in the mirror and I'm not really trying to focus the video to where you can see it, but as long as you can kind of see a little bit of what I'm doing. Now, this tape is so sticky 
that is once I lay it it's really hard to come up so I pretty much have to get it perfect on the first try and that's why I take my time So once you start really pressing it down, this tape is not going to lift. <clears throat> So now as you can see the tape is wider than the strap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and cut that part off but I want to make sure that it's so stiff and that it's not going to lift. So I'm going to loosen the strap, I'm going to take it off and I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to cut it off and I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, so that's the strap and that's the overhang. So I'm going to cut that overhang part off. So it'll be a perfect fit on the strap. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it cut off. So I kind of just roll it as I cut it because it's so sticky and it's really hard. <clears throat> and that takes a good 10 minutes to cut off. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like cut. I didn't cut the strap. I just took my time and cut the rest of that tape off <clears throat> as best I could without cutting the strap. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it back on. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten it to pretty much the tightness that I want it. And I'm going to place it exactly where I want it even because now I'm ready to press it down on my wig. Um, keep my hair out of place. So, you need some tweezer, tweezers, pointed tweezers, to take your tape off. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put my wig in place. So I pretty much want the straps on the outside of my comb. I think this one is on the inside. One of these days I'm going to totally stop sewing combs and put the tape all the way around but then I won't be able to have elastic back there. So you can kind of see it's pretty much going to even itself up. Now this wig is not, um, it's not cut round. I, I keep thinking that I do want to curve it so it can just curve around but once I put the tape on this little part pokers up but it really, it really doesn't show. So let me kind of just Put it back a little bit to help it along. Uh, looking for a rat. So, um, my wig. 
it's getting smaller and smaller because I just cut at least a quarter of an inch of lace off the front because it was really thin. So now it looks nice and thick. So, I mean, I keep cutting and cutting pretty soon. I'm not going to have any more lace front. I'm going to have to make a whole new one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lift the tape off. Okay, so <clears throat> how I press mine on, I start from the center and then I work my way out. So I have to have my mirror on the really high magnification side and I can try and zoom the camera in for you to see. I think you can see it. And I try to come maybe one or two centimeters past the strap, but not too far. So, can you see that? So once I get the center down, the sides are pretty easy. Let's see, you don't want to, it sticks really quickly, so. Okay. So what I like to do not do anything else. Take my scarf help flatten that baby down. Okay, so once I flatten it for a little bit and walk around with it, I'm starting to sweat. Um, then I take it off and I tie it over my wig mannequin and let it sit like this overnight. And then the next day I'll go ahead and curl it and finish it in the strap will be stuck and I should also say that I take a needle and thread and I sew the ends down so the ends won't lift because the ends always lift the tape always lifts the ends first so I just take clear thread and I just sew it right across each end and that keeps them from lifting okay so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you have any questions